Sacramentum mirabili, passionis tuae memoriam reliquisti, tribu equesumus, ida nos corporis et sanguinis tuae sacra misteria venerari, ur redemptionis tuae fructum in nobis iudider sentiamus, qui vivis et regnas in secula seculorum. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, the God who is, who was, and who is to come. Now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. O Trinity of blessed light, O unity of princely mind, the fiery sun now goes his way. Shed out within our hearts thy rain. To thee our morning song of praise, 
to Thee our evening prayer we raise. Thy glory, Sabia, and we adore forever and forevermore. All laws to God the Father be, all praise eternal Son to Thee, all glory as is ever meet to God the Holy Paraclete. Amen. I saw the holy city coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her spouse. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city, Strongly compact, it is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem pray, peace be to your own. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces, peace. For love of my brethren and friends, I say peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. I saw the holy city coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her spouse. I made known to them your name. I will give you glory, O God, my King. I will bless your name forever. I will bless you day after day and praise your name forever. The Lord is great, highly to be praised. His greatness cannot be measured. Age to age shall proclaim your words, shall declare your mighty deeds, shall speak of your splendor and glory, tell the tale of your wonderful works. They will speak of your terrible deeds, recount your greatness and might. They will recall your abundant goodness, Age to age shall bring out your justice. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessings. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God, to make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall, 
and raises all who are bowed down. The eyes of all creatures look to you, and you give them their food in due time. You open wide your hand, grant the desires of all who live. The Lord is just in all his ways, and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who call him, who call on him from their hearts. He grants the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and he saves them. The Lord protects all who love him, but the wicked he will utterly destroy. Let me speak the praise of the Lord. Let all mankind bless his holy name forever, for ages unending. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. I make known to them your name. Unity of those who believed were of one heart and soul. How good and how pleasant it is when brothers live in unity. It is like precious oil upon the head, running down upon the beard, running down upon Aaron's beard, upon the collar of his robe. It is like the dew of Hermon which falls on the heights of Zion. For there the Lord gives his blessing, life forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is, who was, and who is to come now and forever. Amen. The community of those who believe were of one heart and soul. Thank you. 
From St. Paul's second letter to the Thessalonians. We are bound to thank God for you always, beloved brothers in the Lord, because you are the first fruits of those whom God has chosen for salvation in holiness of spirit and fidelity of the truth. He called you through our preaching of the good news so that you might achieve the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Song. 
Guide travelers along the path of peace and prosperity so that they may reach their destinations in safety and joy. Kyrie eleison. For the continued recovery of my mom, for our oblates, future oblates, friends, and benefactors. For the healing of Bridget Grady and her family. For Mauricio for his intentions for All Souls Parish, Father Sam. Receive the souls of the dead, Lord. Grant them your favor and the gift of eternal glory. Father Nostra, we are sincerely, sanctificetur nomen tu, alenia reum tu. Fiat voluntas tua, sicur in cielo et in terra. Pane nostrum quotidianum, da nobis odie, et dimite nobis de vita nostra, sicur et nos dimitimus de vitoribus nostris. Et ne nos inducas in tentazione, sed libera nos a malo. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their Creator and God, you may restore what you have created, and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. My theology of August the 3rd. Blessed Frederick Jean Soon, Franciscan priest. Born in France, he initially exercised his ministry before being sent to the Holy Land. The needs of Palestinian Christians led him to seek resources for them in Canada, where he died in 1916. Pope John Paul II, at the time of his beatification in 1988, declared that Father John Soon showed that the spirit of contemplation, far from stifling apostolic zeal, fortifies him. At Constantinople, St. Dalmacus, he had already been a monk for 48 years, when in 431, he left his cloister for the first time, accompanied by his community, in order to intervene at the Council of Ephesus on behalf of the Orthodox bishops who had been deprived of their freedom by the Nestorians. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Remember all the most gracious Virgin Mary, that it never was it known that anyone would have fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or saw the intercession was the love of the Navy. Inspired by thy comments, I fly to thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to thee, O God, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen.